I think it's important to expose children to different foods for a number of reasons. One is that we're a global world and there are amazing foods out there. And it's really important that when children are young that they have the opportunity to try a lot of different things. They're not going to know if they like something if they don't try it. Now what's interesting about children though and most adults is that when we look at food, that's when we decide whether we're going to try it or not. So we need to make it visually appealing to children as well as nutritious and as well as diverse. I think that preschool children need to know that they should eat a lot of different colors every day and that they should like to try different fruits and vegetables and there are, there's a variety of ways that we can do that but I think that's what they need to know is that lots of different colors and fruits and vegetables and we need to be able to um, entice them to try new things and we need to have that in their snacks and also in their meals. A very simple experiment we did with, with kids. Uh, we had kid, kids come in for a lunch once and we gave them carrots and say, here are carrots, eat carrots, right? They're with, with the rest of the food. And I had another group that were just virtually identical come in and we said, would you like to have carrots or celery? And almost everybody said carrots. I mean, it was overwhelmingly carrots because people didn't like the celery. But what was really interesting is about one in 10 more kids would eat the carrots if they were given the choice between the carrots and celery than if they were just given the carrots. Having some bit of choice in there, it gets them, you know, if I chose it, it must be somewhat good. It's, I'm gonna try it. I'm at least gonna try and eat this food. Working with their desire for independence and their desire to sort of choose their own path, you might actually be a lot more successful than trying to resist it. And so I think that's something that could be really useful, particularly in a classroom setting. Classroom settings may be one of the best ways to expose children to new, healthy foods. Don't expect a young child to try a new food the first time he's exposed to it. Don't give up on healthy food if children don't eat it. Try presenting it and describing it in different ways. The way a food is perceived by the child makes all the difference in his willingness to try it. Instead of saying, carrots are good for your eyes, you should eat them, saying something like calling them x-ray vision carrots that sort of taps into their understanding and their knowledge of, of the world. And maybe it's a little bit of a caricature, but it, it gets them excited about it and they're willing to try it. You know, there, there's an interesting fact from the, I believe it was the 30s, um, when, uh, when somebody did a, a survey of kids' preferences for foods. What were their favorite foods? And the first favorite, of course, was ice cream, and you, you find a bunch of things like that on there, but in there, on n number three on the list, believe it or not, canned spinach. Canned spinach was their third favorite. Why? Because of Popeye. Because they saw these movies in the, in, probably in the theaters at that point, where, uh, where they have this guy, crushes this can, eats the spinach inside, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden he's superhuman strong, right? And they know that's not gonna happen when they eat the spinach, but they, they get the idea. This is gonna help me grow muscles. This is gonna help me grow strong. And they, they get that, they get excited about it. As with so many healthy behaviors, modeling is important. That's why family-style dining is a great teaching tool. It allows children to see their teachers trying new foods. But the most powerful motivation to try a new food doesn't always come from the teacher. Sometimes one enthusiastic child can provide the best incentive. What's much more important is if there are actual kids in the classroom that are willing to try this or who are already familiar with it and excited about it. You know, what, what we found is just, you know, one kid, say, in a, in a preschool who's really excited and really knows about this, this particular fruit or vegetable. I think we were using star fruit or something like that that was, you know, unfamiliar to most of them. There's this one kid who really likes it. He talks about it and he gets excited when it comes out and that signals to the other kids, ah, it's not just something the adults want to push on us. This is actually something we could like.